Page 67, Forearm Staccato. This is another little piece out of the Hannon book. This is an excerpt out of the, I mean the real piece in the Hannon book is much longer than this, but this could, it's a pattern. And both hands are playing the same pattern. You're here and here. And I'm rotating here over here, well, if you play it legato. It's another thing out of the hand and boat. They're kind of fun to play. But they're t using it in this book to introduce forearms to Kano. And they get all technical up there at the top. As I've been the idea with forearm staccato, see we've had a wrist staccato or hand staccato where you hinge at the wrist. With forearm staccato you're hinging at the elbow. The whole arm has come down. This is used for loud powerful stuff where you need big muscles to get it there. Don't get vulgar and bang it, but the, you know it's where the smaller muscles can't handle it. And the thing here is because you're using big, bigger muscles to do it, the accuracy tends to suffer. You have to be careful because we still got to hit the right keys at the right time. And the tendency will be to tense up and your wrist will get stiff and you'll do that. Don't play with stiff wrists. Let the wrist collapse a little bit each time. You can't see it very well but here but it's, it's coming down. When I hit the key, the wrist will give just a little bit on these. So here it's each one. How high up you come, you're actually you won't come up very high, it's just it's a very small motion, but you're hinging at the elbow. I'm not gonna exaggerate it for the video so you can see it better, but and it, it's harder because well the higher up you come, the harder it gets. There's no need to cut be coming up high unless you're trying to be flashy for people. It's just up just high enough to release the keys. It's another type of staccato we use sometimes. And it, as I said, it's used for loud stuff where you need the big muscles to do it. Otherwise the other types of staccato or the other techniques for staccato we use are much better. But let's try this out. I don't have anything to point out. This one you're just starting here and you're going all the way up to here at the look at the last line. You're here. Again, you got all these ledger lines in the left hand. Well, keep in mind it's playing the same note name as the right hand. So you can use the right hand and just copy that in the left hand. Right? And the next to the last measure, I recommend fourth finger on that E in the left hand. Because the chord is that, and that's the fingering for the chord. So I recommend don't use third finger on that. Here. Yeah. That's all. When you go fast, you're kind of doing this. I mean, you're, there's not a lot of time. And slow it down it's much better if you will get your hands on the keys first and then use the arm to push it down and then bounce off of it boom boom and the wrist keep the wrist loose here they're showing you preparation with a high wrist and coming down I tend to use a flatter wrist and come down and just collapse a little bit but yeah keep a loose wrist here so I'm on the keys I just bounce off but I'm hinging at the elbow I'm using the whole arm here. And then the next time I put the key on, uh, put the hand on the key, and then play it. It says I'm bouncing off really, but again I'm using the elbow. Let's play this slowly, just to make sure we got all the notes and all. That shouldn't be a problem. The rhythm is not a problem. I hope it's quarter notes. So I'll give us four counts, and we'll go ahead and do the staccato. Don't worry about dynamics and that. We're not interested in dynamics. It will be moderately loud or so just because you're using bigger muscles. Although it's a kind of a nice exercise, how light can you play that? It's a little inappropriate because we would not use this technique to play softly. So, but it's something to experiment with. And you can do this when you're practicing the C major scale or any scale. Just practice these different techniques. I'll, I'll
on the scale. So I give this four counts, so let's try this out. One, two, ready, go. Two, three, four, off.